episode 47 of the Fit Pro Podcast. Welcome back to the Fit Pro Podcast, listeners. I am your host, Marvin Fayez, and today's episode is episode 47. We are going to be nice and quick for you. I've got a story for you. How exciting! Story time. And uh, before we get into that, make sure you head to facebook.com forward slash Fit Pro Pod. Give us a big thumbs up, as well as fitpropodcast.com to check out all of our previous episodes. We are almost up to 50, guys, and that is massive. And when we reach 50, I'm going to do a big giveaway. So make sure you subscribe to everything, make sure you're on Facebook, make sure you subscribe on iTunes to not miss that giveaway. Now, let's get into today's episode. Today I thought I'd share a story with you. This is a story of myself. I wrote this a while ago and I thought this is an excellent platform to get the story out even further. I had it on Medium, let's get it on the podcast. Okay, let's get into it. Let's tell me if I'm a good storyteller or not at Fit Pro Podcast on Twitter. Hashtag Marvin is great storyteller. Okay, this story is called The Grass is Greener on the Other Side. Or let's let's change the title. The grass isn't greener on the other side. And most of us know this, but again, let's get it into our minds subconsciously so that we can draw on this when we forget okay so the story goes little old me when i was in school i was envious of the kids that got good grades i then became envious of those that went on to university while i was stuck working at subway convincing myself that i had the better deal the first relationship i had i became envious of other people's relationships that seemed better than mine The first major company I worked for, I became envious of how other people were treated at other major companies. Now this pattern continued and duplicated over years on end and I know a few of you can relate, can you not? The fact of the matter is that I was looking at what everyone else was doing and believing that I deserved the same if not better. Why me? Why do I always get the raw end of the deal? Some people go their whole lives doing this exactly, admiring your neighbor's luscious, vibrant, green grass. Of course you're going to admire, uh, of course you're going to admire other people's lawn, but until you take responsibility of yours, you, it will never be greener. Even if you were to move to a place with an immaculate lawn, without proper maintenance and care, all it will do is wither and die. I once had a neighbor when I used to come home from school, used to come home from work, I used to see him out there laboring on his lawn, making every inch perfect. Some days I think I'd even see him out there with scissors cutting the lawn. That's how pedantic he was about it all. Now guys, the grass is not green on the other side. It is greener where you water it. That quote is by a guy called Neil Barringham. And it basically sums up this entire story. If you want good grades, you need to study. If you want to go to university, you need to work hard in school. You need to study. If you want to start a business, you need to, you need to work on it every single day. You need to work hard. If you want a great relationship, work on your relationship. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. That's by Jim Rohn. If you want a better job at a better company, stop complaining, go study, get more skills, add more value. You do not get paid by the hour. You get paid for the value you bring to that hour. In order to have more, you need to become more and personal development is key. Water the grass, keep growing, keep listening to this podcast, guys. Keep listening to people that have what you want. Keep reading the books, keep going to the seminars, keep grinding, keep studying, keep up the work. The work doesn't stop. The work never stops. You just get comfortable with the work. And when you get comfortable with that work, make it uncomfortable again. The grass isn't greener on the other side. It is greener where you water it. Where you are right now, you can change your situation and make that into the 
desirable situation that you are looking for or you can let it wither and you can let it die and you can go why me why me why me so what are that damn grass and that is all i have to say today hopefully you like that story that was a, a heartfelt story and if you like these types of podcasts these types of stories i will keep them up i'll keep them coming for you as always all the links to the foot pro podcast are below my email let me know what you think of the show and who you would like to see on the show that's all i have to say to get today guys that is the foot pro podcast i am marvin fares and i'm out peace